Hello fellow astrophotographers and welcome back to our channel. Now if you happen to have the mirrors based uh, telescope like Newton Reflector or a Schmidt uh, Castigrain telescope you might know that collimation can be a bit tricky. Uh, that's why I also wanted uh, to try the Tribectino method which means you basically collimate the telescope with the camera already attached and the mask in the front. Now, while I was developing the mask and 3D printed a few prototypes, I decided to use the similar uh, concept as we have for our flap panels. Basically, what we do is we attach a compression ring to the front of the tube. This is a 10-inch telescope. You align it with the front edge of the tube and tighten it down like so. It has uh, six built-in magnets. Now, if we take a look at the features, for example, we offer five-piece uh, kit. The first accessory is dust cover. It has the six bolts which align to the magnet. So basically, when you finish imaging, you just put it on like this and it's protected from the dust. Now, the second accessory is aperture mask. You can tailor this to your desired inner diameter. Basically, with this you can hide uh, or better set cover the parts of the tube which can cause inner reflections and weird, weird uh, star shapes. Same as the dust cover, you align the bolts to the magnets, like so, and it's attached. And last but not least, of course, the mask. Attaches the same way. Now the trick with this mask is uh, when you collimate it, it's easier to focus on one bolt at the time. The collimation has three bolts and the Bechtino mask has also three axes and you want to collimate one at a time. That's why we also include the mask. So for example, when you collimate, you first cover the two parts of the mask, you leave just this one open in this orientation and you have to orient the bolts on the back for collimation the same way as the mask points. Basically you collimate this bolt so the star spikes are uh, symmetric. I will show that in the second part of the video, the whole process. When you collimate one bolt, you simply move the mask to the next position and expose the mask in the, in the direction of the next bolt and in the end the third you collimate that one and you're finished. Uh, you should end up with a nice uh, star shape or better set with nice tribectinal pattern when you remove the mask after the collimation is finished. Uh, let me show you a quick uh, picture of how that looks. Uh, now that's about it. Uh, we offer this mask for uh, different reflectors from 6, eight, 6 inch, 8 inch and up to 10 inch for now. Um, you can check it out in the shop. I have put the link in the description of this video. Uh, now let's get into the whole procedure of the collimation with this mask and see how it works. Okay, good evening. It's getting dark, so time to perform some telescope collimation. Let's do this. Now, just a quick note I forgot to mention before. I roughly collimated the telescope with laser prior to this collimation, especially to get the secondary mirror in position. And once you're under the stars prior to collimation, you also have to run the autofocus, uh, so the stars are nice and sharp. Now let's check out the Tribectino pattern. As we can see, it's not symmetric. Uh, so we will have to collimate uh, each of the axes. Uh, we will work one by one, as mentioned before. Let's start with one and cover the other two. Okay, as we can see, the pattern is not symmetric. So we will have to adjust uh, this bolt. First, we will try to turn it in one and the other direction to see which is which to get the central spike between the other two spikes so the pattern is symmetric and as you will also see the star will move perpendicular to the central uh, spike direction when we turn the bolt so we might have 
to uh, put the star back in the center, either with uh, unzooming and moving to the other position or by moving the mount a little. If the uh, changes are big, let's now adjust this bolt to get symmetric pattern. Okay, so the pattern is now uh, symmetric. Let's move to the next one. Okay, this one is also not symmetric, so let's work on it too. We'll just skip fast forward for now to uh, adjustment of this one and the third one. So I won't bore you too long with the details. Okay, we're finished. Now let's check out the Bechtinol pattern, the three Bechtinol pattern. We can see the situation is much, much better. It's not like totally 100%, but it's very close. Um, now let's just uh, um, put the mask off and start imaging, see how the stars look. Okay, stars look really nice and clean with good star spikes. Now to test uh, the collimation really in detail, I was imaging uh, Ghost Nebula region on the Skywatcher EQ6 R Pro mount with our encoder and circuit. And this enabled me to uh, image without the guiding. Um, and also we performed the flat calibration with our uh, prototype 10 inch flat panel. I have put a link uh, to our five in one uh, kit to the description of this video. Now here is the result of the testing. This is 15 hours of Ghost Nebula. I am really happy with the result. Stars are nice and round with clean star spikes. Details are great. Uh, so uh, I think this works very well and is a useful procedure to collimate your Newton reflector. But you can also, of course, protect it from the dust and uh, cover the aperture so you get really clean, nice stars. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to comment below. Stay tuned and as always, clear skies.